Hello everybody and welcome back to my Twitch and welcome back for a new playthrough as you can see and today I'm gonna play Sable <coughs> um, A platformer indie game slash puzzle I think um, I played the demo of this a couple of months ago and I really enjoyed it. I love the art style and all the whole vibe of the game It's truly truly an indie game and it looks amazing so i was like okay let me get the the full game to uh stream it here on twitch and uh yeah without further ado let's check this game out shall we uh let's quickly check the settings here uh release quality exclusive full screen i don't really know what that means i think yeah okay that's yeah We'll put the frame rate at 60. I don't know if it really matters, but yeah, if it really jabs up, then we'll lower it to 30. I don't think we're gonna see that much of difference in it anyway, but um, we'll um, see how it goes. Draw distance default. Okay, back display. Photo mode up, colors, text scale, controls. Yeah, we'll leave everything the way it is here. Okay, here we go. New game. <coughs> Probably, yeah, the game is going to start with the uh, the demo start. And I think the demo was, as far as I remember, also the beginning of the game. So we'll have to do that the uh, whole sequence all over again. But that's not a big issue. Let's go. Here we go. Yes. Yes. And I'm playing this with controller uh, as well, so. Shed works. This will probably be a very relaxing uh, stream or streams, this game. I think I have to climb this, I'm not percent sure, I think I, uh, that was the thing that I did with the last time. Or maybe not, okay, maybe not. Uh, let me see, oh no, it was this way. Maybe we climb the ladder. That would be maybe yeah, make more sense I think.
I don't really remember Ibex camp. Don't really re really remember. I know I have to do some chores for these uh, villagers, and then I get like my uh, my yeah I don't know how to call it hover bike or whatever. I can feel JD smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind mine. Now I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? And yet, I shrug, but any attempts to act casual or fruitless. The moment is jerky, and I don't think I have ever been more aware of my little shoulders. She laughs. I mean it, but I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you start it, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then, I promise you, it was going to be all right. I told you how much I had loved riding your bike as a young woman and how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly, you, there you were. You sat down, you leaned forward, and pushed those little grasping claws on the handles and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. She reached out and placed a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can't, Sable. I take a breath. I think I'm ready. Thank Jada for the encouragement and tell her with the nod that I think I'm ready. I know you are, so let's, you get, let's get you started. You'll need to talk to Hilal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangement for your bike. And Hilal will share something. Well, let's see as useful as it is fun. Hmm. I think I might suspect what Jada is saying, but let's stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. I'll be back soon. I'll tell Jade I'll be back soon. Sable, don't go planning your return before you even left. Take all the time you need. It's a big decision you're making out there. I tell her that's why I'm so eager to make it. To choose well and quietly. So that I don't go too far down the wrong path. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try Try using me as an excuse to come home early, huh? She knows me. Now go speak to Yilal. He'll be there to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Shizo, but you know how he is. I have something to give you, a compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gliding. An artifact, you might say. I take device in my palm, it fits naturally there. Perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Thank you. Oh yeah, okay. I didn't I've completely forgot about the, the compass. It's actually really yeah, it's really good actually. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna talk to you, lol. As I approach you, lol, they give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated lol's verve and vigor. Or vigor. And on a day like this, I'm ready to match it with a touch of nerves for balance. Sable, take this. Lol hands me a small round stone. As it nestled into my palm, I feel a warm not borrowed from Hilal's hand, but emanating from within. I rub my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. Who is this? I try to sound less confusing. I am, but ask hello, what is this? What this is? Oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you, what do you feel? I tell hello that, feel, that I feel electricity 
then you're doing it right. What you feel is that stone is is openness. Openness. I look at the stone, it seems quite closed. Sliding stones are vessels for the virtual. Virtual? Virtual. <laughs> Please, not another game with these these interesting words, huh? Per perpetual? <laughs> anyway. Perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges, and it, it holds it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty, or dormant, or waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it up to the temple. Take it to the temple ruins at the end of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. The log claps his hand twice and bobs it, it bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at times like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, he'll all stop me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember Jay's words now. And tell her I'll, I'll go and see Driss. Okay, here we go. Crap. Uh, I break my legs. <laughs> I don't think there's any fall damage or maybe... Yeah, fall damage for a uh, certain distance, I guess. That I've told myself not to be too eager. It's all I can do not to race up to Driss. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom features. What will it mean me? It's an EMB, I wonder. How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore, or will I get used to it? Just turns with a bit of a start. S Sable! Uh, 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 hello! Hello. Are you? I was told that you have. Hello. How are you today? I'm well. I let it hang there a moment. But I can't do it. I'm too keen. The words spill out. I asked Driss if he might sort of possibly, maybe, have a bike for me. Your bike! He yells it like it's an idea he just had. Your bike, y yes, of course, yes, right, yes, your bike, that, that is, was meant to, that I prepared for you, because today is your gliding, yes, along with me, y yes, uh, of course, right, yes, yes, I do have that, my blood runs cold, has he forgotten, by which I mean I arranged it for you in a, well, that's sort of tutorial for you? Tutorial. Yes, exactly. Uh, a learning experience. You see, Sable, before one can own their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. I think about it, and I've never heard of that part of the gliding, but the rest does seem earnest. Sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Just test to the sand cutter at the side it's quite old and a little shabby the tester if i've ever seen one i'll give it a go really i mean yes good B be gentle though the sand cutter is older than gd you treat it with respect now ride your bike through the ring and back and here's some advice for you my young glider don't fall off when you're not riding your hover bike will appear as a blue icon on your compass there we go I should speak to Driss. Yeah, it's like a whole... <laughs> it's like falling apart. I 
the return to us who who somehow managed to seem caught off guard despite knowing it was I was coming. S Sable, congratulations! How was your first pre glide ride? Any strange rattles, unexplained um, hissing, small fires? What do you mean fires? Surely you know this if you were on fire, even a little bit. Yes, absolutely. Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Tris, is this by dangerous? Well, he doesn't finish. Have you already been to Hilo? Uh, all right. I nearly forgot about Hilo. I'm thanking Tris for the reminder. Before at least nudging him a little about the bike, I asked him if I'll be getting one. Well, you're getting the use of this sand cutter. That's something, huh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands? And Hilo's got something to show you, too. Help you out with more of that uh, mobility you're after. But my confidence in this exercise only lightly tarnished. I thank Driss very much for his help and his bike, and I depart to Hilo. But I don't really have to go because I already went to Hilo, well. Unless I have to go again. Could be. I don't really remember if I did this the, in the demo as well. Head to the demo set, I promise. It will be worth the trip. Okay, I guess we're going. I don't know if we could. Okay, that, I don't think it really matters uh, if we have to take the ladder down. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I remember the temple was around here somewhere. And I had to like climb. Oh, I think it's over there. Beyond this dune. This thing is really falling apart. Yeah, there it is. Oh, is there a way to get in here? I don't think so. No. Blocked. Okay. Let's go. Make it that high. Hmm. It's not like I can use a scooter, right? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Maybe I can climb it this way because over here it's a little bit lower. grass definitely helps to climb a little bit faster there we go I'm not getting back up there. Oh, 
I'm gonna have to see how I'm gonna get it back up here. Somehow. Well, I don't remember that. I, I remember that I did this, but I don't remember what actually happened here. The song trumps like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Yes, uh, no. I am ready for Rohana. Rohana to know me. I am ready to know myself. I feel curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am in her sight. Oh yeah, the, the gliding stone. Just like a, a gliding thing, like the 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 bubble could like make me help me to go higher. Something like that. I I don't really remember that well. But I think it's something like that. I think it was something like that. Yeah. Gliding bubble, whatever you want to call it. That brought me back over here. Oh, what's that? Chum egg. Offered up by chums when planting, planting themselves into the ground. Perfectly smooth and hard as a rock. These eggs seem to float with how light they are. There must be a good place to deliver these. Huh. Some type of collectible, maybe? It's like an old train out of here. <laughs> the 
the whole strafing is a little bit feels a little bit awkward. Just ask me a series of increasingly strange questions before I make an excuse to take my leave. And that's it. Trenchy Law, it's clear they know what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them before I even left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Exciting, true freedom. I tell her how hovering is exciting and rambling. Ramble for a moment about all the things I, I'll be able to do when I'm out there in the world. Most of them involve me falling on my head and not getting hurt, but I'm sure I'll come up with more in practice. Right? You can do anything you want. Hill's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling, just floating on a breeze. But I suppose it's best that it feeds with each. Hmm. Or else I might never have to come back. From my gliding, I'd just be out there heaving myself into chams, chums. I'll heave myself into chums for you. Tell her I'll throw myself in thousand chums for their on their behalf, and they giggle. That's all I like to hear. I know people manage to keep it up, but I know they've got the time to practice. I don't wait, but I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. Takes a really serious focus. <laughs>, laughs, and even if there's a little bit of regret in it, and I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean much if it weren't all gains and no loss. Hmm? I think about that, but the sight that there is already too much loss on my mind to consider it much further. I'm saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. To lose the Perpetual <clears throat> is a sacrifice for another time. You're going to love it out there, Seymour, even when you don't. My advice, try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and dependence and all of that uh, and all of that's out there. But the world's an easier place if you put joy first. Now thank you a lot for his for it for their advice and for their help. Tell them I miss them. It'll be over before I know it. And warning and reassurance all in one. And I say goodbye to you all. Before I go, you little chest towards the tower. It seems that Sizu wishes to see me before I leave the clan. Logging in. Hello, Sable. On red messages, zero. Have a good day. Oh, glider. So strange getting called that. Tell Jay how strange it's being called glider instead of Sable or even Clan Child. Just trying to get used to it. She seemed to really like it, and maybe I like it too. My little glider. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Shizu is an outclaner to do a backseat, but I know her for nearly as long as I can recall. I think of her more as a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Machinists, I'm told, are given their posts and by their training and their code must go to
to where they are needed. But Sisu has been among us so long that it's easy to forget its assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think there's a perception among the other clans that the Abexi are quite ins insular. Insular? Or that our des designation of Abexi versus Alf clan suggests that some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us and who we must leave behind. But all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Sisu did. Sable, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. But now I'm getting a bike. Sisu has a truly quality to her voice. And it rumbles to her mask when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most days. And I'm always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes, Chidi told me how exciting you were. Sniff. Sisu sniffs. She also told me Driss would be coming along to get your bike together. But I think he may have... I knew it. What? I hadn't meant to say that out loud, but so I tell her I was just clearing my throat. I don't begrudge Driss this forgetfulness. Where I test with so many odds and ends, it might be just as scattered. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hover bike part yourself. Going to make my own hover bike? I ask Sizzle if I'm expecting to make my own hover bike. No, you are, you are not going to make your hover bike. You are going to build your own hover bike. Of course. To make suggest you are creating something. But your bike already exists. They simply haven't taken form yet. Here, take this. The navigator hands me something. This is a navigator. You can use it to mark a waypoint on your compass. It should be useful in finding the old parts. As to the, where I might start looking. Our bikes are reborn in the ruined ships. And fragments spread apart. A good start would be the ship down there, near the camp. You find another part up that great rock. Near the other side of the canyon. And another part behind the old dam on the hill. Use the navigator to mark that down if you need. You'll need to gather the control panel, the power supply, and the calibrator. I'll be back before you know it. Together we will create something new out of the old. Oh shit! Okay, let me go over there first. I don't really need to, yeah, do that. Who's these? Alaria. The balloon was more fun than the person in it. I approach a cart cartographer. Ah, oh, greetings, child. I saw you looking logically at my great balloon. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? She really is. I nod enthusiastically. It really is an impressive vessel. However, nervous I get imagining being up there all alone. I wonder if anyone's ever fallen off of one. That's not to ask right now. Well, good to meet you and oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Jordan. And I tell him I'm Sable. Suppose if you come all this way to see me, it's probably a map you're after. Hey Sable. I would love a map. Of course you would. That'll be 50 cuts. To my ears, it's a fair price for a map, but too expensive for a pre gliding glider with empty pockets. I tell Jordan I'll be back. I'll need to ask Sadie for some money. Go watch out.
is this. As Umar is a man of few words, but he is nothing if consistent. Okay. Just works, I guess. Okay, let's go. I think the whole demo showed that we're gonna get all the parts, put them together, and that will that was the end of the demo. Beyond that, I have no idea um, what's gonna happen. Oh, look at that! We got some money. I assume we have to place it here. It's like a battery pack or something. Good. Don't really remember this part. It's on the control panel. Here we go. Okay, so these are the, yeah, okay. Yeah, so we got the pieces for this one as well. if there's anything else in the ship maybe more gold nope no more gold oh. I was very close Oh, there's like another piece over here. No, a chest or something. No? Wait, what? I thought I saw like another chest here. Could be on the other side, maybe? Wait, I'm definitely absent sure I saw something. Oh, it's on this side. Oh. I'm not gonna make that. Hmm. How do I get over there? Can I climb over the... Over this thing? I don't know if that's going to be possible. I don't think so. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Not 20. Very nice. Very nice. Look at that. <laughs> Who would have thought so? The thing what this game does really well is that it's very peaceful. It's just a really good indie game. For what I've see, seen till now, it's really good. Let's go. This. There's nothing to use, nothing of use to be found in the ship, but I notice a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Push the button. A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording, but it's barely audible. Stop messing about with these buttons, you absolute idiot. Sorry, Brahmin. Concentrate, I don't think I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. Alright, let's see. If what that old machinist, machinist told us holds up, if not, they'll be held to pay. I heard the sound of mechanical adjustments being made, three clicks, buttons being pressed. Okay, when I push this orange ring, pull that lever hard. Yes, ramen. Sound of click and a loud grunt before a snapping sound. Oh, on Ruhana's mask. Not that hard. You've torn it out. Suddenly, the speakers are filled with static and a low rumble that gradually increases in pitch and then the sound of someone's cheering it worked we're flying more cheering is that the sound of someone dancing okay okay L let's focus this thing is moving fast we need to slow it down a bit how do we do that ramen let me check the machine's notes long pause the rumble static sounds that started playing when the ship took off is still increasing in pitch ramen that lever toma the one you just ripped out. We're going too fast. We're going to crash. We need to try to. Your coin cuts out there. That was probably a break. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, that was interesting. What? What the hell's going on? Are you looking for the calibrator? I'm immediately on guard. Saima has always been a mischief maker and taking tremendous pleasure in tormenting me. In theory, I am older, more experienced, and should be more than able to withstand it. Practice? You won't find it here. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never. Never. She never fails to get to me. Give it back, Saima. My gliding each and she is a child. No, I don't think I will. 
kind of laughs it off my irritation, but I'm not going to give her satisfaction. I cross my arms and try to affect the change. I'll give you the calibrator. I put out my hand, proud of myself for standing tall before Simon. If you give me some beetles. That's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want? I try to decide if it's more mature to push her over and steal the calibrator or to a quince. But then I simply stifle a sigh and shake her little head. Perhaps some of the adults in the camp know where I can find some. Okay, let me see if I can get the other one instead. Of. It said that the other one should be. Uh oh, do I have to do it like this? Okay, let me ask in, in, uh, in town then. It's like little running. Look, running over there. Well. Bugger. Uh, I could ask about catching beetles for that awful Simon. Do you know where I can find some beetles? There's a nest of beetles just east of here. You can't just walk up to one and catch it though. There's some seeds growing on the rocks around the nest. Drop a seed on the floor and the beetle will start eating it. Then you can sneak up and grab it. Just ask me a series of increasingly strange questions before I make them. Okay. Okay. Let's go. I don't really remember this. Oh, there's another one of those, uh, those eggs over there. There you go. Chum eggs. Very nice. Is this the way? I, I have no idea. Could be. Oh, there's the beetles. Yeah. I just need to find the... Oh, wait. Are these the seats? Wait, I got... Wait... What? I got the beetles. Aren't there the beetles? Oh, you little bastard. 
On to the Beatles I did catch. No, I guess not. Do I need to take it with me? Maybe those are not the, the beetles I'm looking for. Hmm. Maybe not. Let me see. Let me go a little bit higher and see what I can do here. I think I'm. This is not the way. Because the game didn't tell me if I if those are the ones that I need. I think those, those were the ones that I needed. Hmm. I don't, I'm a little bit confused, wait. See, and over here, I, it says that I already got the Beatles. What? And... Oh, okay, and now, okay, I think now it worked. Okay, I think there was a little glitch, I guess. Yeah, probably, was a little glitch. Hmm, where's that, where's the key? Because I saw her running in this direction, right? Okay, let me get off and see where this could be, actually. Oh, here she is. Hello, bastard. <laughs> I feel embarrassed vindicating as I hand Saima the Beatles but red and glowed she has me the calibrator and begins to cry what have I done you're leaving you're leaving and you'll never come back she blows her nose and then wipes her hand on her tunic Jaro never came back after the last gliding aren't you sad you were a friend I miss her too there's been a there's been a letter here and there, but it's always to us rather than to me. I'm not bitter, but I hope not to be like that. Please don't go. 
That's also I mean not to worry. That'll be back sooner than she knows. And I'm sure she pouts behind her mask. I'm gonna add to that. If I'm not back sooner than she knows, then she will be ready for her gliding by then. And she can come bother me herself. Promise? I say yes. Good. Now suppose I can come see you off. I thank her and say goodbye for now. Wait, isn't this the place I came from? I think it is. Yeah, that's the place I came from. Yeah, it's definitely not here though. Yeah, I think it was, yeah, it was more in the, um, or more over there somewhere. That, uh, that red light is, I think. Does that look like a, a wing of a plane? Oh yeah, I think it was here. Yeah, I think I'll have to do some climbing here as well. That's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Oh, I, I'm running out of uh, stamina. Okay. Dang it. So we can go a bit higher here. Or just, yeah, climb the tree. That would be easier, I guess. There we go.
Okay, I, I'm still assuming I'm going the right way right now. This, this soundtrack is so good till now. Seriously. That has a really good vibe to it. There we go. We have it. All the ports. Yeah, the whole gliding with the, the bubble is so good. It's like you would think like it would also take like stamina, but it doesn't. You can just keep gliding. Wait, where do I need to go now? To Shizu. I thought, oh, I thought, yeah, that was Driss that I talked to. Yeah, okay, no issues. No, there's also not him. Wait. Oh, it's probably, yeah. Look at that, more money. That's for the other one. Yeah, I tell Jai that Dorfer wants 50 cuts for a map on Uber. I tried to hedge the way I speak about as I'm not entirely sure whether that's too much, not enough, or precisely its value. She tells me not to worry. Here's some money to get you going on your, oh wow, on your journey. Use it mostly wisely, and then a little unwisely when the mood strikes. It's good to know the value of money, but you never want to be ruled by it. And I thank JD exclusively, excessively. And head out on my way. Nice. Okay. Sagal, I wonder what she's thinking about. Something on your mind? She voices weakly and traductionally. I don't know how she done it. That's Alaria over there. I follow her geese. To a little speck in the distance. Which I now understand is her daughter, Laria. Do you want me to get her back? No, she's fine. I'll get her. I'm just... She shrugs. It's parenting. I suppose I know more about that when I'm older. Okay, buddy. I got your map or your money. Greetings, child. I'll buy that map. Perfect. Let's read that. 
a map of Ur sold by the members of the cartography guild. Yes, one would be nice, thank you. Thank Jordan for the Ur map and all its vast possibilities. Something about this makes it more more real. Good luck on your gliding, Sable. I still remember mine. That's how it was. Short. I knew since I was a boy that cartography was for me. But I spent a little extra time out there, just to enjoy the world. Speaking of, keep an eye on the skies, huh? Plenty of my colleagues out there. They'll have more maps to sell you. From Malkoa to the Sodic Waste. Tip and say goodbye. Go well, child. Fast travel. You unlocked a piece of the map. You can navigate to the map screen in the pause menu. Once you have visited the place, you can fast travel to the location using the map screen. Your hover bike will also travel with you. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice. Yeah, that's really good. Wow, it's actually much bigger than I thought it would be. Damn, I've only done this one part here? That's crazy. Oh, that, that map is... Oh, that's very interesting. Oh, that is... It is so big. Damn. Look how big this is. I thought it was going to be much smaller. Oh yeah, that's 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 going to be interesting. Okay. I want to be carnographer too. <laughs> okay, little one. <laughs> um yeah, now I still need to find a uh, the guy who's gonna make me uh help me to make uh to make the thing <laughs> the, the 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 hover hover thing There's a mother folk buried on the sand. It's very interesting that there's like also the sun's coming up and then it really it moves around with time. The way that you can see that's really nicely done. Look. Yeah, I really like that part. Scissor. I wonder. I don't remember scissor. Even though I'm playing this for like an hour now, I, I don't remember. Oh yeah, he was over here. Wow, I am so dumb. <laughs> I am so dumb. Of course, yeah. He's over here. He's in the tower thing. Got the parts. Get that money. <laughs> I touch this with the parts as, as she weaves me over that I feel a pang of sadness in my chest. When will I see her again? Once I'm gone. Well done, Sable. Yes, this is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble a bike on your own? I'm ready.
relax in the workshop. It isn't that she's particularly rigid or anxious ordinarily, but there's a certain calm beauty that one only truly appreciates when Sizu is in her element. I wonder if it's this way for all mach machinists. What you must understand, Sable, is that the components you acquire, they fit together. Not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They have always belonged to her. All we are doing is assembling her for what she was already been. I nod and I feel soft buzzing in my ears. Among my claim, we believe that machines have names, held for ages like deep secrets, unheard by those unequipped to listen. We will find this one's name together. Okay. How do I... Booster. Like bike front. T moon. Listen, tips your head for a moment, leaning closer to Sea Moon. All at once I know the hoverbike's name, Sea Moon. I see it in a whisper to let Caesar know. Sea Moon, Sea Moon, well done, Sable. What sort of name is that? Clan Nature? If it does, then I do not know it. Perhaps you will find out on your journey. Shrugs mostly to yourself, or perhaps you won't. But I hardly think it matters. You are bound. All the same. Kelsey Moon, that I'm eager to know her better. And Shizu looks quite proudly at the both of us. You are ready then, for the gliding. May all the gods turn their faces from you, Sable. An odd blessing, perhaps. But Shizu is prone to such things. And I can read it in her tone that it was meant quite sweetly. You must learn to listen to Simoon. Take care of her. Seek out my fellow machines on your travels, Sable. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. Machine's badge. Oh, and here, take this. To machine's badge, you'll meet plenty of my ilk on your gliding. Show them your worth, and they'll give you more badges. Thanks you do twice for good measures, but give a bow. I am ready. Should I take it with me already, or? I think there's just one more thing I need to do. Uh, Jody. Crap, of course I went all the way around. <laughs> Get dumbass. Ay, ay, ay. The weight of my departure feel heavier still. What a strange day. Sable, is that a badge you've got there? Caesar gave it to me. Then you must have earned it. Well done. Well, Sable, if you keep this up, you'll be headed for the mask caster in no time. I try not to think about going to the mask caster, but it seems impossible far away. Imagine choosing what I want to be. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You'll get plenty of badges when you're out here, out there. And once you've got three you like, you can trade in for that mask. But don't feel like your first mask is your final choice. The gliding is about freedom and exploration. And suggest you claim as many masks as you wish. Only at your final ceremony will you be asked to choose one. H how will I choose one? Now. To avoid now puts the butterflies back in my stomach. With all this done, there's only one thing left. 
It's time then, isn't it? Time to walk through the face door at the Temple of Rohana. There, you'll assemble your gliding mask and go. Well, things I wish to convey to Gina here, the depths of love and gratitude and fear and worry and hope. And though I find myself unable to speak any of it in words, I know she understands. Before you leave, child, I made you these. Yeah, I die with the traditional Ibexi Maroon. I hope provides you great comfort out in the desert. When you leave today, you will no longer be Sable, clan child, the Ibexi. You'll simply be Sable, and the rest will come. But no matter what you are, no matter where your journey takes you, I will always know you, and I will always love you. I will see you again. I don't know where my journey will end, but I know where I must begin, and I am ready. Here we go. Is this it? Yes, it is. What the hell? I feel I'll have to do some platforming here. Cuts. A cache of 100 cuts made from metal harvested from crashed ships. They have holes punched through the middle with a rope, can be slid through for easy and convenient transportation. Nice. Okay. I thought I could reach the um, the plant also. I guess that's not an option. Let me see here. to do here definitely have to press some uh, some pressure plates definitely something like that I'll be going to you to that one over there then. Hmm. 
find a way to. There we go. I was actually right there in the beginning. <laughs> I went the other way. <laughs> Could it be another one? Oh, there's probably another one. Oh, probably over there. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. I see you. Yeah, I think this part I didn't see in the demo. Yeah, I think the demo didn't show this. At least I really don't remember this part. Gliding. The Bexy mask. Return to the camp. Logging in. Another cable. His voice echoes strangely through the machine, yet still it warms me. Well, Sable, this is it. By the time you hear this, you will have gone. The gliding is a journey that must begin alone. There's a certain nuance lost in transmission, and for that I'm grateful. It would be too far. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice and not run weepingly into her arms to stay forever. But I am ready. So I close my eyes and listen. But though you go by yourself, you are not without friends. You are not without family. You are not without love. These things you will always carry with you. As you do your mask. 
And I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go and see Yutari. They're the machinist of the Burnt Oak Station. And among Shizu's closest friends. Yutari is a good contact to have on one gliding, once gliding. And a fine way to get another machinist badge if you're so inclined. Only suggestion though. As for us, I'll send another message once we've returned to the Uber. So keep an eye on the post boxes. And try not to forget us. She takes a long breath and I forget that things as easy as breathing could ever exist. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. Call the canyon. Oh, leave the, call the canyon. <laughs> leave the canyon. What the hell? What was that noise? Oh! Oh, I need to try this out. <laughs> what? Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> wow, it looks so beautiful. I just wish that maybe the the glider had like a little bit of a noise to it. Like when you accelerate, that it had a tiny little bit of like a, a buzz sound to it. Like now you can hear like a buzz sound, but it's not like it's, it's just because you're on it, you know? So yeah. Anyway guys, I'm gonna stop it here for this first part, this first stream of Sable. I'm really enjoying this game, I'm really looking forward to continue with this. Um, normally I'll be back um, tomorrow I'm gonna come back to um, YouTube my YouTube channel for the second part of Immortals uh, Phoenix Rising and normally I'll be back on Thursday I think uh, over here on Twitch with the continuation here of Sable hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and uh, take care stay safe I'll see you around take care bye bye